So you wanted a video of the heater that you sold me and all. So uh, here's the heater that you sold me. And at one time we did have it on the dash and all that stuff, but like I said, it's popping fuses right now. These are the fuses that I buy. This is my second pack now. So we're going to replace the fuse. Oh. Ah. This is the fuse box. I'm pulling it out. As you see, that uh, third one up, where it says cigarette lighter, it's 20 amps. See, uh, there you go. That's the fuse diagram. So we're gonna pull the old fuse out. I uh, have to take the fuse out. And as you see, it's popped. So we're now we're going to open the new pack. Okay, that's the new fuse. I see it's not blown or anything. It's good. So now. We're gonna attach it to the fuse installer. And put in the correct one, which is this one right here. It's 20 amps. Bought it up from my automotive store. And now, we're gonna plug in the heater. I gotta get back in the car. There's my cigarette lighter. Time, 2.50. All right, plugging in the cigarette lighter. See, it's in there. Here's the heater over here. I'm gonna turn it on to heat. Down. All right, it's blowing. See, how can I prove it's blowing? Maybe a napkin or something. There we go. I got a napkin here, and watch when I put it in front. See, so it is blowing right now. It's putting out heat right now. It took about a minute. Got the cord going all the way around here. Plugged into the cigarette lighter. I got a little bit of music playing in the background. Kill some time. Still blowing heat. Give about five minutes. Uh, got my headphones tangling the cord a little bit. Like I said, we did have it on the dash there, but we had to take it off because we thought we were going to return it. And all. Feel like you should reimburse me for all the fuses I've been using. I know. I'm in my girlfriend's car. I borrowed it. Go to work. 
I'm early for work right now. Still blowing heat. And it's 2.53. Still recording? Yeah. Five minutes and 30 seconds into the video. Couple more minutes, I'll start checking the cord. You know. I uh, really don't have a temperature gauge or anything like that, so all I can do is just tell you how it feels right now. I mean, right now it feels like it's normal, nice and cool, within parameters. Although it's getting a little warm up here, close to the cigarette lighter. Okay, back to the heater. Uh, show you it's still working. Yeah, so it's still working. Heater still blowing heat. There, I'm gonna open this napkin a little bit. Maybe I'll give a better idea. I'm just separating the napkin, making it a little thinner, therefore a little lighter. So as you see, it's still blowing. Windows are closed except for this side. The door's open. I know. Still blowing out heat. It's 255 checking cords definitely warmed up but not too bad as I get closer to the plug yeah about the same still still blowing heat Still not too bad. For the fuse blows, definitely the cord will definitely get a little hotter. And I've noticed that uh, when he, the plug itself, uh, last time I checked, it was hot to touch. And all, and the cord coming out. Uh, was I mean you could touch it but it was definitely warm I think he got a design flaw going oh wait a second I uh, just heard the fuse pop as you see nothing there ain't nothing coming out of the heater it's, it's shut off and I never touched it and it's 257 right now. So we're gonna check the fuse. Just to be sure. The switch is still on heat. Checking the cord. It's definitely warm. 
pulling the plug out. Yeah, that's that's definitely hot. I know. And that's pretty warm. That's pretty warm. Actually, this time the fuse blew a little faster than I thought. No, because last time it was 12 minutes. This time it's uh, it was seven minutes. So we're going to go to the fuse box. I'm getting out of the car so I can get to my fuse. Grabbing my fuse puller. Going to the the fuse itself, which is the cigarette lighter, right that one right there. Pulling it out. Dropping it on the seat. Grabbing it. And as you see, let's see here. The fuse is definitely blown. It's even got a black spot on it where it blew. So hopefully this is enough proof that your product is not working too well. Design flaw, engineering flaw, something like that, but it's definitely blowing fuses. From my calculations, it shouldn't blow until uh, the parameters that you gave me on the pamphlet. I added it all up or you know did the math and everything and it comes out to it should be maximum of 12.5 amps. Well that's a 20 amp fuse. So I'm wondering, like I say, you got a design or engineering flaw. Anyway, this is your video. And uh, uh, definitely needs to be worked on or something like that, or either that or just got a bad one. And also, I like to get my money back and uh, if possible, reimburse for two, <laughs> two packages of fuses that I bought. All right, have a good one and we shall talk to you later. Bye.